It may be one of the biggest medical advances since the scalpel. Doctors have discovered a way to treat non-cancerous tumors with sound waves instead of surgery. As Nancy Cordes tells us, the procedure may one day be used to battle cancer and other diseases. Stephanie Small will never forget the day she learned she might not be able to have children. The 27-year-old Pennsylvania woman was suffering from a painful fibroid, a benign uterine tumor that can grow as big as a bowling ball, often requiring a hysterectomy. I cried, and I have no kids, and I don't want to not be able to have kids. In the hopes of avoiding the surgery, Stephanie enrolled in a clinical trial at the University of Virginia, where doctors are using sound waves instead of knives. The technology is called focused ultrasound. It offers a treatment option that doesn't involve radiation or cutting. Uh, that is uh, a huge breakthrough. The patient is awake for the four-hour procedure lying in an MRI machine. It captures these images pinpointing the fibroid's location. The doctors and technicians bombard the tumor with up to 200 sound waves, which are harmless going into the body. But when sound beams are focused on a single spot inside, their powerful energy kills tissue, much like sunlight through a magnifying glass can burn a leaf. Essentially, it's like a James Bond movie. You zap the target. The results are startling. Look at this scan of Stephanie's fibroid before the procedure, and this is after. The part that is gray or darker color is the part that has been destroyed. 7,000 fibroid patients have now been treated with focused ultrasound. 90% of women in clinical trials reported symptom relief. And that may be just the beginning. Researchers around the world, including here at the National Institutes of Health, are studying focused ultrasound as a treatment for everything from epilepsy and Parkinson's disease to prostate and bone cancer. We will see a day in the coming five years where this treatment is playing a major role for the cancer patient. That's because sound beams can do more than burn tissue to remove tumors. Researchers at NIH are testing whether ultrasound can also help deliver cancer treatment drugs. Here's how it works. The patient is injected with a chemotherapy-filled particle tracked in the bloodstream with MRI technology. When it reaches a tumor, heat generated from ultrasound waves pops the particle, releasing the drug. We're sparing normal tissue from the effects of chemotherapy. Clinical trials in cancer patients could start within two years, but focused ultrasound is already making a difference for fibroid patients, like Stephanie Small. It was life-altering. It was life-changing. I'm trying not to cry. Six months after treatment, she's looking forward to the future and the family she may someday have made possible with waves of sound. Nancy Cordes, CBS News, Bethesda, Maryland.